Titleist Pro V1 left dot. Another new golf ball, another one to test. We're excited to see what the differences are between the Titleist Pro V1. Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell. Today I'm joined by Danny Farrell. We're both master club fitters at the Second Swing Minnetonka store. We've got a new golf ball to test. We do. The, uh, the Titleist Pro V1 left dot. <laughs> There's so many different dashes and dots right, these days. A lot right. of, it seems like this ball seems like it's a little bit more like a, a trial ball, essentially. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. You, you go on Titleist's website, you'll notice it says sold out online. So mm -hmm. I think it came in a very limited run. Right. However, we're lucky to get our hands on some of them. We want to test them and see how they really compare because there's supposed to be some differences. Yeah. Um, the, the left dot is supposed to still feel pretty soft, okay. but give quite a significant lower amount of spin. Right, right. And that's kind of through the whole, the irons, the wedges um, into the driver as well, which we're going to test today all three of those. So should be good there. Right. But Couple things we kind of picked up on it right away. When you first brought them out of the box, we looked at the dimples, right? So I think the Pro V1 left dot, uh, if I remember correctly, had less dimples on it than the Pro V1. Yeah, we're talking 352 dimples mm -hmm. on the Pro V1 left dot. Yep. 388 dimples on the Pro V1. So yep. and when you're looking at it, you definitely notice there's quite a few smaller dimples on there. Right. Right. And we know dimples that can, it's going to influence the, the rise of the golf ball as it yeah. glides through the air. Yep. And it's going to influence spin and the height that ball flies. Right. Right. So there's going to be less friction on one, of the, on one of the golf balls there too. So sure. interesting test. I'm excited to see how they compare because it's supposed to still feel pretty soft. Yeah. And um, it'll be interesting to see if we notice any significant differences on the numbers, but also on feel too. Absolutely. So let's get to the wedges, the seven iron, and the driver. See what shakes out after that. Sounds good. All right, so we're gonna get started testing, but Thomas, I noticed you've been kind of juggling some golf balls. What are you doing? So I always like to do my field test by just juggling different golf balls and see how they all feel compared to each other. Sure. I did, I started off with the Pro V1 versus the Pro V1 left, left dot. And what okay. I was listening to is I was listening to the feel and, and the sound just to see which one feels firmer or, or or softer. Sure. Um, I felt like the Pro V1 left dot was still a little bit firmer than what the Pro V1 okay. is. Okay. So we, we know that the Pro V1X is firmer yet than the Pro V1. Sure. So I wanted to see where it kind of fit in. Okay. So I added in the Pro V1X and it's quite noticeable to me mm -hmm. that the X is a, is a lot firmer, a lot louder. And I feel like the dot, it's just falling right, right in the middle between, between the two of them, essentially. Interesting. So I've got, this is the, the dot, and that's hard to probably pick up on camera. That's the middle. Now this is the X. And then we've got the Pro V1. So what I'm listening to is the, the sound as it's bounced, bouncing on my face. Sure. I can definitely notice the difference. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can hear it back here as well. This, it's kind of fine-tuned, but I'm sure for your feel, it's more kind of vibrant. Yep. There. So. All right, well, let's get rid of the Pro V1X. We're not sure. going to test that because this yep. is a good comparison between these two. Yep. Just wanted to just tell people exactly where it kind of fit in with regards yep. to feel. Yeah. It's firmer than the Pro V1, Okay. but not as firm as, say, the X is. Okay, perfect. So what, which, uh, which one do you want to lead out with today? Uh, let's do the Pro V1 first. And I'm used to playing a little firmer golf ball myself, and it, this okay. definitely so feels pretty soft. Okay. The Pro V1 does. Okay. That was a good swing. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's four shots with the Pro V1. And the spin rate was, the last one was just a little bit less, but yeah. you'll notice the spin rate kind of hovered around about 10,300. Sure, which is a healthy amount of spin coming off of a sand wedge. But how did that feel? I know you play something a little bit firmer. How did that feel coming into the Pro V? It, uh, it, it felt like mush. <laughs> 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 for, for me, it's like, 
<laughs> it's not to the point where it's like an old tour ballada or a professional or anything like that. But sure. by playing a firmer golf ball, I definitely can notice the, the difference okay. of the face. It just it felt felt soft. Sure. So yeah. maybe this next one might feel a little bit more like home to you. Maybe. I, I'm hoping so. All right. Yeah. Let's and, see. And I just the Pro V1 is a great golf ball. Yeah. And I probably should play it because I like the softer feel of, of the putter. Sure. But I've noticed with wedges, irons, driver, it's felt a lot, quite a bit softer. I've kind of like, like that firmer ball. And for me, I like to generate spin with my irons yeah. and I like to hit a little higher ball flight. And that's why I like playing, would play the X if I was sure. co comparing the two. Okay. Well. Let's see what the, uh, the left dot brings to the table here. I went after that pretty hard. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to hit one more shot and we're going to try and get that average back up. Yeah. So we just kind of came out of the left, left dot. What do you think of that? Yeah, it's a it's little bit firmer than okay. the Pro V1 is. Yeah. It's not a real firm ball. Okay. It's still, I'd still consider it pretty soft off the face. Sure. Um, I'm more interested about the feel off the face when I'm hitting a, a 56 degree wedge. Sure. I'd say golf ball to golf ball, for the most part, you're not going to see a drastic change right. with regards to spin. I think it's supposed to have just a little bit less spin with the, with the left dot than the, with, than the actual Pro V1. Right, due to kind of that dimple change as well, right, right? from 388 in the Pro V to 352, I think it was, in the right. left dot. Right, 388 to 352, yeah. Uh, you can see the spin rate. It was pretty similar right. overall right um but you know, it did kind of launch a little bit lower which the you know, title is kind of promoted as well so that's yep. good to see that it launched a little lower it had more ball speed true at which is at the same which is interesting speed. but yeah. at the same club speed so yeah. the efficiency there you can see 1.13 versus 1.10 yeah. yeah. um but yeah so a little lower launch a little bit more ball speed spin rate was you know about the same there height about the same yeah Pretty, si pretty similar overall numbers between the two of them. Yeah. But yeah, a little bit more ball speed and then keeping that spin retention. Okay, notice. well, let's see if that kind of continues. Let's kind of jump into the seven iron, see what kind of feel brings out from that. That looked left. Not really. That was my numbers. Okay, yep. So, Thomas really good four moves at it. How did that, I think, come out different from uh, the seven iron test, feel wise, for you? Still feels soft. Yeah. Yep. And okay. that's probably the biggest thing I've noticed is it, it's just still feeling softer than what I'm used to playing. Okay. Off the face. But my numbers, I always say 178 to 180 is usually yeah. my, my carry distance at 178.6 there. Yep. Less um, than a one yard different. The old numbers very, very consistent across the board there. Spin yep. was very good, very, very good. Yeah, I'm excited to see how the left dot now compares. Now we're going to hitting the ball further, a longer golf club. Right. It's where I might expect maybe see a little bit more of a di difference, but yeah. we'll, we'll find out. Yeah, I mean, we saw a lower launch in kind of the wedges. I'm interested to see if that trend kind of carries through for this one too. So okay. let's jump into that left dot. That one felt a little firmer. That sounded a little bit firmer back here as well. So I don't know if that one's going to come back. Okay. Should be pretty good. So Thomas, we just rattled off a few more shots with uh, the probably one left dot. Talk to me a little bit about that feel-wise for you there. I personally like the feel just a touch better. Yeah. Um, 
And I think that's the biggest thing, the biggest takeaway from this video is going to be is the, the biggest feel. difference is going to be feel. Yeah. Where the Pro V1, mm -hmm. it just it feels softer than what I'm used to playing. Yeah. And the the left dot just gets me closer to my normal feel what I'm used to. Okay. And that's yeah. you know when we do ball fittings, that's the way it should be, right? Start with the kind of the short game first and work your way back. Yep. So I think it's going to be great to jump into the big stick and see how that feel kind of progresses. But let's talk about the numbers, what we kind of saw, what shook out out of that. Yeah, I mean, uh, I more or less the spin rate you're seeing, and I know that the left dot should, they're saying might spin just a little bit less than the, the probably one. Yeah. If you take a look at my face angle, I didn't quite turn that face over. Right. Um, as you can see here, it was 0 0.6 degrees more open. Yeah. Um, which is going to leave to just a little bit more spin. Yeah. But even still, the spin rate you're talking, it's, it's pretty close there. And yeah. if you look at the dispersion, you'll notice on the screen that the the left dot was just a little bit further over here to the to the right side yep. overall. Yep. Um, as opposed to the other one, that just turned over just a little bit more, and that's what's right. leading to the the spin. I don't think there's a drastic difference really in the spin. No. No, I think they're pretty similar. Yeah, but again, we we did see a little bit lower launch out of this, out of the left dot as well. I mean, it's minuscule, right? Not right. very much, but it's consistent. Well, that's interesting wedge. considering my face was a little bit more open. True. Which is yeah, yeah. So a little bit less launch with the left dot on both balls. Yeah. Numbers are pretty good. Um, just a little more spin. I didn't quite get to 178, but 177.2 is pretty close. Pretty good. <laughs> yep. yeah. So all right, let's uh, get to work on the driver. See okay. what shakes out there. It's a little toey. Okay. You can miss it. Yep, absolutely. Really good there. Okay, so kind of looking at the numbers again, you know, one kind of toe strike where we saw the, num the spin kind of drop out a little bit, but if we take that one out, the spin's pretty stable at about 2,000. So, you know, again, a good golf ball for you, for sure, looking at the numbers being promoted, but a lot of this comes down to feel. Right. For you, so. Yeah, and I, I will say that I've done a really good job with my attack angle. I hit up on the ball. Yeah. I'm able to hit the ball a little bit, a little bit higher and keep the spin rate down. Right. I did notice 104 feet in the air. When I play normally when I'm hitting my driver, it's just a little bit higher than Kay. that there too. Okay. Um, so that's one thing I'm kind of noticing there, just the height about 104 feet, which is which is good. You want to be in that 30 to 40 degree landing angle range. It's 36.8. Yeah. yeah. Not saying there's anything wrong with that, but if you're able to keep that spin rate down and get that little higher, right. That's when I'm able to get that carry distance up exactly like that 286. Exactly. Yeah. That that was kind of that was the best shot for sure at 111 feet yeah. in the air. Yeah. So let's see if uh, kind of that lower launch trend uh, follows suit with the left dot. All right. Okay, that one good too. Well, okay. Tell us size at least. Beauty there. Go figure, one, five, two. All right, well, we can work with that. All right, so kind of just hit four with uh, the left dot. Now from back here, it did sound a little bit different. Did it feel a little bit different off the face for you there? Yeah, it's. Not as noticeable with the driver, I think it's okay. because it's just loud in this environment in general. Once you hit it, it's yeah. just going to echo everywhere. Right. Uh, I notice it more with the wedge, and I notice more with the seven iron. Makes sense. But yeah. um, I don't feel like it was really doing too much different to what the actual Pro V1 right. was doing. Right. I, would, I would agree, and I think the numbers kind of say the same thing. Right. Club speed, very, very similar. A little bit hotter, which delivered a little bit more on the output, the ball speed side. Launch, again. 
Okay, just a fraction lower. Right. So that's three times that we've seen that launch kick down a little bit through the bag. Yeah, that's okay. probably the takeaway is the bull. Yes, it is launching lower yeah. with the left off. Yeah, with yeah. kind of the less dimple pattern on there as well, right? Yep. 352 versus 388. So uh, spin did come down a little bit too. A little bit less it's spin. interesting to yep. see that. A little uh, bit more of a chase out, yep. slightly lower height overall, one, okay. 102 feet in the air versus 104. Right. It's, right. it's subtle, but there is a little bit of a difference there. Yeah. Um, you know, pattern's pretty similar there as yeah. well. I, I don't think there's a, a right or wrong here. I think a lot right. of it comes down to feel, yeah. right? Which you, you described early on, just bouncing off the wedge, saying, uh, you know, I like the feel of the left dot better than the Pro V1. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to say that this left dot is going to dramatically and change, change the spin rate, dramatically right. change the ball speed, right. dramatically change the height. Right. I'm just not seeing enough data there. Same. Um, it's yep. it's going to be feel related. Like you said, it's, yep. it's going to be the fact that it just feels a little bit, little bit firmer overall yep. Yep. Um, than what the Pro V1 feels like. Right. And I think that launch angle, just the dimples, is going to make a bit, bit of a difference overall. True. True. Um, with regards to the, the launch angle being significantly a little bit lower. Okay. But, and then maybe a slightly lower ball flight yep. overall, but yep. it's... It's subtle. It's right. n it's not a it's not a huge difference at all. Right. Yeah. Right. So you know when we go to try and pick a golf ball, like we say all the time, it comes down to feel, you know, to start out with. So I think this test was great to see kind of the consistency with each one, and to get your feedback on kind of the feel of that too. So I think thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, if you like the channel, hit the like button and subscribe. We'll see you next time.